hi guys i hope everyone will be fine uh, in this video i am going to show you how we can create uh, intersection uh, on the highway design and let's start from where we have left i am going to open my previous file okay as you know that we already have created uh, uh, this uh, vertical profile and also we have the horizontal alignment ready and we are going to see how we can create an intersection here uh, at this point so first we what we have to do is we have to see uh, the the crossing mark on this profile you know you can see that here we have a crossing at zero zero change for the side road and for the main road we have a crossing here so these elevations should be matched so first we have to mark that uh, mark this uh, elevation on our uh, vertical profile so how we can do it let's change a bit of this profile just for idea so you can see i am just changing it let's say is here now uh, let's uh, draw a cross on this profile go to the profile view and add crossings to the profile view and this is our main road and we're going to click this press enter now select the profile view click on this so this window is opened now uh, just first of all select everything to none so as we have this uh, vertical profile from the main road and uh, this is our VP vertical profile for the main road so crossing mark uh, here we have different crossing marks I am going to select uh, X cross this one and for the label style I am going to select UK IE name la name level and change click OK you see these settings okay I will just uncheck this one because we only want for this vertical profile so this will going to mark the crossings so click OK you can see that we got a X cross at this point it is you see the zero change at the zero change level we have found that uh, the main road is uh, elevated on this 319 so this is also we got the label here just you see it comes crossing name and also crossing level and also the chain it chain is zero for the horizontal alignment and crossing level is 319 and the crossing name is vertical profile from main road so here we can see this now we are going to create a cross section at this point we are going to create the cross section at this point. Uh, let me show you some. Uh, let's so that when I create the cross section, you can see something like what happens with our profile. So this is the main profile, main road profile. It should be it remains the same. And now we have the small. You can see this this one is our side road uh, elevation and we have designed uh, the vertical profile from not from the crossing but something down here so I have shown this one here and this is our going to wait we are going to create our cross section here so what will you have to do for the cross section uh, uh, go to the uh, you see the intersections create intersection and now what we are going to select our intersection point this one now it's loading so so this was our intersection name you can name it as in whatever you like and primary road crown maintained or you can do it all crowns maintained for example like this uh, I am going to go with the primary road crown maintained that uh, the primary road speed is like is the main road and this one is a side road so uh, for the next 
uh, I want to create uh, the parameters curve returns and everything as per details and I already selected this curve return fillet for the curve return lane uh, and you can change this from uh, from uh, if you have something else here you have to change it uh, and what you can do is browse and uh, you can go to the UKIE assemblies and you have to select uh, one of this uh, estate road uh, junction or you can select another thing so I am going to select this one I, I have already selected this one that's why I am showing the curb return for the you know lane right hand size so what you now uh, now this will be our uh, here with our cross intersection will be uh, created and you also have to uh, have eye on this one see what changes here so create cross section so now it uh, uh, will going to create the cross section here and this is our side road uh, vertical alignment and this is our horizontal road alignment so it, uh, it's, it takes a little time uh, to create the cross section and now here is our cross section you see it's nice and ready we have the curve returns uh, we have our uh, we have corridor created here everything is so nice and what what thing you can notice here you see that our uh, crossing our cross uh, job our cross point is automatically changed our vertical profile has already changed to this one and you can see that automatically goes above and here it becomes a nice corridor and i am going to just show you uh, the let's say so now uh, you uh, we also have got here the label that this is our junction one and uh, we have the assemblies uh, what good thing is you can see that automatically it created our assemblies sub assemblies here you see the primary part section secondary and you can also create your own assemblies as well but it is uh, created automatically and beautifully you can three uh, 3.65 meter each lane and because uh, it was uh, like 750 uh, meter road or total road so i uh, did that uh, 3.65 and I can show you this one mm, now this our cross section is ready nice and quickly way of creating a cross section so you can select this object viewer you see a uh, nice cross section is ready with properly designed sidewalk and uh, this is uh, so uh, this is a side road and this is our main road and this is everything so as you can see this is easiest way to create a cross section but uh, this uh, cross section is for uk region island region because uh, it created the assemblies as the requirements for the uk so you can also create the manual method but i will show you in some other video so this is for today to create a cross section in this way you can you can uh, you have seen that how we can put cross uh, mark on our uh, vertical profile here is it and that changes automatically uh, by the creating cross section technique and also we got these all assemblies uh, for the curved returns and the single road and the main road uh, with uh, with 3.65 meters each length so this is for it today i think guys uh, uh, you enjoyed it and this also have the all offset alignment everything it is created now i will show you in the next video i am going to show you how you can uh, uh, expand this corridor to whole of your alignment uh, using the uh, targets method so have a good day i hope you enjoy this video thank you very much bye now